In today's video, you're gonna learn about the OMAD fasting diet and whether it's any good. Let's go. So I'm a dietitian, sports dietitian, and nutrition coach. Welcome again to one of my videos. Now, before we get into today's topic, remember to subscribe and ring the bell so you can stay in the loop of all of my videos. So what is the OMAD fasting diet? Because this OMAD diet has risen in popularity in recent years and become one of the more popular new fasting diets. Quite simply, OMAD stands for one meal a day. Okay, so it's a fasting diet where you essentially just eat once a day. But is it any good? Does it have any merit when it comes to fat loss? Does it even have any merit when it comes to muscle gain? Does it have any merit for you as the athlete? Well, let's explore. So I'll break it down between fat loss and muscle gain and then kind of wrap it around at the end to tell you about generally whether it's a diet that any athlete should be really considering. But let's first start with fat loss. So for fat loss, can it help? Yes, potentially could. Is it necessary though to achieve fat loss, to do one meal a day? No, 100% not. In fact, just eating once a day in this kind of very strict fasting regimen can actually have some negative effects for you, such as potentially increasing risk of disordered eating, you know, nutritional inadequacies, you know, metabolic adaptation over time, and just hangryitis. So yeah, the pros and the cons, well, there's more cons, definitely in my opinion, and from the experience that I've seen, the people have come to me after doing the OMAD diet, it's just not as good as it seems. Now let's look at muscle gain, okay? Does the OMAD diet have any relevance, any potential benefit when it comes to muscle gain? Well, for this one, honestly, the cons outweigh the pros so much more than for fat loss. Because for fat loss, you can argue, okay, you're fasting very strictly, you'll cut calories, therefore you'll lose weight at least. But for muscle gain potential, most of the time, you should be eating more than you usually are, okay? Just generally speaking. And because of that, doing something like the OMAD diet where you're just eating once a day is gonna not only make it harder for you to hit those caloric needs, it's gonna make it harder for you to hit your protein needs, and it's not gonna really distribute your intake across the day to maximize, I guess, muscle protein synthesis through you know, having multiple meals with a decent amount of protein, as kind of the, the evidence will show has been beneficial for people to maximize their potential when it comes to muscle gain. So no, the OMAD diet for muscle gain makes no sense whatsoever, even if it does make some relevant sense to fat loss. So how does the OMAD diet kind of look when it comes to the athletic picture, okay? For athletes, just generally speaking, is it a diet that has, makes any sense at all? In my opinion, as a sports dietitian, no, it doesn't, not at all, okay? Not only are you impairing recovery and repair because you're not really eating consistently and in the right way to maximize repair and recovery, you're also not really probably gonna be hitting enough calories. There's gonna be nutritional inadequacies. So remember, our body's not really like a car. It's not like our, our stores go away and then you top it up and you're good to go, okay? We can only absorb so much of different things at any given time. And that's why eating multiple times can be beneficial, especially for the athlete who has those extra requirements for specific nutritional needs. So things like the OMAD diet for an athlete is gonna make no sense whatsoever. Okay. Not only will the body composition change not necessarily be that good, but also from the performance edge side of things, your performance will most likely be lacking. Okay, so OMAD diet and athletes don't go together. Okay, just, just based on how the diet goes and what athletes need, there's just no connection there. Okay, so yeah, that's just the way it is. So yeah, I hope that answered that question. Nice little short video for you, just to kind of really answer the question whether you should even consider the OMAD diet, the one meal a day fasting diet. I'm not a fan of it. Yeah, there are other fasting regimens that have potentially some of the cons that generally fasting diets will have, especially for things like muscle gain and performance, but they're a little bit more suited to the lifestyle side of things, okay? They're a bit more kind of, I guess, easier to do as well, but they're just not as rigid. So therefore your nutritional needs may not be as lacking if you do those, you know, normal intermittent fasting, such as 16, eight and things like that, which I am a fan of for the right individual, of course. Remember at the end of the day, all this is not specific advice for you. This is general advice to give you an idea about these things. If you want specific nutrition prescription, please reach out to me, okay, let's have a chat and see if I as a sports athlete can help you elevate your nutrition gain. But I just want you to know that the OMAD diet is not what it's cracked up to be, even if it is, growing in popularity in recent times, okay? There are better diets out there that you can be looking into. And if you want my help with that, just reach out at alexa at theclimatedietitian.com.au. Now, of course, if you have any questions regarding this, please leave a comment below, okay? Drop it below and let me know and I'll answer it for you. Remember to subscribe if you haven't done so, 
hit the like button if this video has been helpful, if it's giving you a new revelation when it comes to your nutrition. Until next time, have a good one, stay classy, see ya.